Hey guys, it's LC and I'm back with another video. This time, Life After Lockup. This is season 5, episode 42, Save the Drama for Yo Mama. Now, it started, we're left off last week with the fight between Rob's mom and Tenny. I'm telling you, I spent like 30 minutes rewinding this and pausing this over and over and over. And it seemed real to me. There was some um, pictures leaked by a fan or like someone who was working there that day of them filming this episode. And I mean, it all looked real to me. She broke some nails. Um, It was a lot of mixed comments about or like mixed, just, yeah, basically mixed comments about who was at fault the mother or tinny tinny you know did try to take ownership for what she did you know but i don't think she should have put her hands on that lady first of all and like rob said why you walk back and put you know like look at her and get in her face like that so you know i just feel bad for the kids honestly because it was a later scene where the kids expressed like this was tough for them and especially the girl you know who's probably like that's her best friend you didn't that's her mama you know but she talked to rob and she said she's not repairing this relationship with the mom at all she don't even want to never ever ever be in the same room as her or anywhere with her but that situation was wild like oh poor rob i know you know just being torn between your wife and your mother and I know Tinny feels a certain way like she feels like she needs to protect him because she feels like I was there for you and nobody wasn't so I can understand where she's coming from what do you guys think next we have Justine and Michael so they got back from the doctor where they're talking about their high-risk pregnancy and they're talking about either him getting a vasectomy or her getting her tubes tied and he's really adamant she's like why do i have to go through the skin he's basically like well you're already open let them go ahead and do their thing but i mean it's i mean on both sides you know i can see where they're coming from i honestly think this is a storyline that they're trying to go with you know i feel like i honestly think they had a baby <laughs> the other day um she posted about the baby boy and this little cute collage type of situation and um might have had the baby already so i think it's just a storyline they're a beautiful family she does look a little overwhelmed justine might got some postpartum going on which i understand and um they talked about the last their scene had the kids in it and i really don't like to talk about kids and especially kids that are on the spectrum or anything like that so we gonna go past that but you did get to see him leave for work and her be with the baby and enjoy the baby and you know she said her plate is full with this family and everything and the only time she gets to go outside is when she's running errands but he with the situation with the kids and they're getting overwhelmed or whatever the situation is it might have been for cameras punched a hole in their closet door in their room so um i hope everything's okay with them i know all, a lot of children could be overwhelming one kid is overwhelming so i can understand but mm, they could we could, let's talk about it we could have did better next we got finally melissa and louie and they are living together now and he working at a pizza place i think she works for the post office or something like that and basically she just want to get married you know they've been living together doing their thing and you know they seem happy and she just really concerned about getting married the scene starts with them being at the beach and he wants to take like a polar plunge and getting basically like cold cold water it's rejuvenating it like sends your blood straight like cells all over and just re, you know it feels good definitely done it before so he wanted to try that see what it felt like but basically she's talking about she wanted to get married and she wants to carry it, diamond ring and he ended up facetiming his mom at work he was at work he talked about him you know going in 
making a pizza and they hired him on the spot and he's just basically doing a couple a lot of things though he's trying to be a personal trainer he's selling uh health supplements and he's doing a lot of things too but it was good to see the mom too because i think the mom is more inter entertaining than anybody else but either one of them we could have followed them on um where are they now but they're a cute little couple and let's see what they bring too bad they didn't have them in here last week but i see what they're kind of doing because they left out um kim and joey so tell me what y'all think about them all right now they had zaria and troy they don't really have a storyline this was really just a bunch of filler situation and he left to go talk to one of his friends with this little pink durag on and he really didn't talk about nothing he just talked about he had the vent and talk about he basically being on the right path not turning to the streets to make quick money how he was well off his mom was on live saying that like his pops had like a lot of money and was basically well off and he's always been taken care of even in prison and everything so this was just like filler i think this is like i mean them i feel a certain way just because of their mental her mental health his mental health their situation since they've been out and how they get on live and act up and they're they're having a meet and greet if you guys are interested you know to meet them pay to meet them and actually justine and michael are having a meet and greet as well i wonder what's up with these little love after lockup people i mean i know you try to get to the bag but you know i don't know do you guys want to meet them they're having a meet and greet and um basically anyways he went to the park to go be his friend and talk about that he ended up going back home and talking to zaria and just saying like you know she was like oh if you're gonna turn to the streets you can get out right now and he was like no you know i'm not and i'm trying to live the right way so we'll see hopefully they all work it works out for them go to their meet and greet so they can pay them bills y'all all right Brittany and Key Rock. Last week, they got denied by their parole in Texas, or like they were approved where they're from to move to Texas, but Texas didn't, their like check in situation with their parole. Texas didn't want them and they got denied. I feel like they're doing really good. I think they might already be in Texas in real life. They life seems to be going pretty good this is some by another couple they could have kept because you know they kind of lived their little hair, happily ever after basically their fairy tale but either way uh they're staying in a hotel a government hotel is what they're calling it some kind of like situation and Brittany says that she has like ptsd and trauma from staying and being homeless on the streets and different motels and stuff like that and um key rock won't tell his mother that they got denied and that they're basically not going to texas right now and i don't know why he or they waited to the last minute to tell his mother this because it just didn't make no sense but the mother um was packing all day and nobody helped her pack and she just was tired and a little overwhelmed and basically the scene was key rock waiting to tell his mother that he wasn't going to texas or he and Brittany wasn't going to texas right now so hopefully they go and get approved all right next the most boring couple of all but i'm gonna be nice to them this is bianca and daniel um really nothing's going on with them i'm gonna be nice because she wants to get offline because she's receiving death threats and hate mail and stuff like that so it's really hard in life to just comment 
period because people are so mean like they everybody has an opinion about something so i can understand putting your life on tv and people commenting about it but basically they go see his parole officer and he's gonna like uh, the parole office is gonna send it in for him to be able to live with her right now he he can stay with her and it's temporary and they're happy she really cares about having a baby because they did the grown-up last night and um they did not use protection and he ended up telling us that he has a son that he doesn't even know and that needs to provide for that's 13 i believe and also restitution for his crimes that he committed so he's very responsible or being very responsible and she's just like i want a baby and i had a miscarriage before and i could definitely understand i'm sensitive her to what she went through so i can understand both ways but it's like you know she just gotta take her time tell me what y'all think about this episode below let's talk about it and i'll see you in my next video